I feel like I have a normal body in the swimming pool. It's incredible, I love it. Hi, I'm Jonah, and Naz have asked me to share a slice of my life living with Axial Spa. So as well as the importance of replacing some of my more active hobbies with more manageable things, it's been really crucial to reevaluate how I do exercise as well. Prior to getting AS, all my exercise was quite high intensity. Um, I liked sweating and I liked working hard. So the shift to more mellow exercises was really difficult for me. I started with routines from my physio and following exercises from the NAS website. Mobility and core strength are really crucial for people with AS. You basically want to keep your spine straight, your posture straight, and so you don't you know, end up like that. And also keeping as big a range of movement as you can is really key. And it's not something I'd ever given any thought to really with my exercise. So Pilates has become a massive part of my daily routine. I do it in bed before I get up. I do it just before I go to sleep and I do it at the gym or at home. I've got a really good instructor, Jess, who makes videos for me and we chat online and she knows a lot about ankylosing spondylitis and AS, so she helps me where I need help. I obviously with AS, you tend to get really stiff. I've also been walking a lot more, which is a brilliant exercise for me. It seems to open up my hips and relieves pain as well as being really good for your mental health. And I tend to walk amongst the trees, which I really love as well. and Can tick off a fair few boxes with that one. For about a year, I've been swimming regularly and that's been a real game changer for me. Along with AS, people often have sort of additional problems. Um, and one of mine is my sciatic nerve is pinched, which causes a lot of pain and flare ups as well. And since swimming, I haven't had one flare up and it's almost completely eradicated the pain I feel from my sciatic nerve, which is just incredible. Swimming is similar to how I used to view exercise in that I can push myself a little bit more. Front crawl is good for your posture, so it's a good challenge. You know, in the swimming pool, it's really the only time that I don't feel any pain. So as well as exercise, another thing that I found really important is actually talking about AS and understanding it a bit better. Um, you know, once I'd learned to pronounce ankylosing spondylitis, I, I started to learn what it was and could explain it to my friends and my family. And I think that just talking about it really makes you see the bigger picture and allows people to understand what you might be going through as well. I've also found things like Reddit quite useful. There's a subreddit called ankylosing spondylitis and although I'm not a massive chatter, I find reading other people's stories really helpful. Um, I like interacting when it's relevant to me. I haven't met anybody else with ankylosing spondylitis, so it's nice to sort of know you're not alone. <laughs>